Hi British Vogue, I'm Lucy Boynton and this is what's in my bag. Okay, there's a lot. Phone. My screen time is definitely higher, especially phone screen time, which I'm forgiving myself for because I can say that work is on it as well. It's kind of my crutch. Gum, mints. Then I would probably never travel without a good book or two, apparently. I can't really focus on fiction when I'm filming, which I am at the moment. So I've got The Man Who Mistook His Wife for a Hat, which is a book about neurology and it's so interesting. And then I've got Shirley Jackson, a classic. Books are the good go-to. Notebooks, a lot of notebooks. I've got this one, which was the more scrappy one. So I've got like loads of little bits of paper that I save from things. Like I have little notes from friends and family and stuff that I've just kind of stuffed inside a book and left there. And I've done that with script pages and then I'll come across it years later and it's just really lovely to see. And then this is the neater one for lists and I don't know, I think slightly more, more organized in that one, definitely. I do have a calendar, but I don't use it as much. Just lists I think help me if I can visualize it. I find it easier to wrap my head around things. So I kind of write lists for everything. Glasses, Warby Parker glasses, which I actually keep a note from my sister in and apparently a cloakroom ticket. Because I travel so much, I like to have little like personal things from family or like memories or something. So I have a note that she left me once saying thanks for having her. I'm very sentimental, as you can tell. Antihistamines. She's had one too many um, unpredicted allergic reactions on important days, and now I'm prepared. So leave nothing to chance. Antihistamines always. Lint roller, always handy. Masks. Necessity. Lots of script sides. Every day when you go to work, when filming, you get a little miniature script of all the scenes that you're doing that day. Um, fountain pen for said notebooks. House keys, AirPods. More minty themed things. Very useful for a job like mine where you're constantly in close proximity with people. iPod, because apparently I'm the last person still using an iPod and a Hotmail account. It's probably pretty cliche, but because I'm filming in Liverpool and it's my first time in Liverpool, I've ended up listening to a lot of the Beatles, which I think is fair enough for your first time in Liverpool. Dark chocolate, necessity. Always some kind of dark chocolate in my bag. More antihistamines, um, CBD, and of course, Chloe Naturel. I always have the fragrance with me. Yeah, like long days on set and everything, a refreshing of scent can really, uh, reset you and uplift you, so it's always been a go-to in my bag. I think I learned that from my sister and my mom. There's so much waiting around in my job, so you might turn up to work and then be sitting in your hair and makeup for like nine hours waiting to go on set, so I think I've learned from that to always bring enough entertainment, hence the many notebooks, the many books and music and everything. But I think the amount of antihistamines and mints and snacks might suggest that I'm Head. I carry a lot with me, I think, as a kind of safety net as well. So, yeah, very dependent relationship. And that is everything that's in my Mary Poppins bag.